Have you ever wondered about what makes a man fall in love? What are the feelings that a divine masculine needs to experience to fall head over heels? Love as we know, is an intricate, beautiful, yet often puzzling emotion. It's a dance between two hearts, a symphony of feelings that can lift us to the peak of joy or plunge us into the abyss of despair. And when it comes to understanding the divine masculine, the dance becomes even more complex. The divine masculine, a term that transcends mere gender, represents a certain set of energies, attributes, and feelings. It's about strength, but also vulnerability. It's about leadership, but also partnership. It's about desire, but also respect. So what exactly does a divine masculine need to feel to truly fall in love? Let's delve into this fascinating topic and discover the seven important things a divine masculine needs to feel to fall in love. The first feeling on our list is respect. Respect is the foundation of any relationship. Let's take a moment to delve into this concept. Respect, in its simplest form, is a recognition of another's value. It's understanding that each person, including the divine masculine, has a unique perspective, a unique set of experiences, and a unique role to play in the world. Respect is the bedrock upon which we build our interactions, our connections, and yes, our love. It's not just about opening doors or saying thank you. It's about really seeing the other person for who they are, appreciating their strengths, acknowledging their challenges, and valuing their contributions. Here's the thing about respect. It's a two-way street. It's not about one person looking up to another. It's about mutual recognition of worth. When the divine masculine feels respected, it's because they feel seen, understood, and appreciated. They feel valued for who they are, not just for what they do or what they can provide. Respect impacts a man's feelings in profound ways. It gives him a sense of dignity. It boosts his self-esteem. It makes him feel appreciated. And when a man feels respected, he's more likely to open up, to share, to be vulnerable. He's more likely to feel safe and secure in the relationship and therefore more likely to fall in love. Why is it crucial for the divine masculine to feel respected? Well, because respect is about recognition of value. And when we recognize the value of the divine masculine, we're not just acknowledging their worth, we're also acknowledging their potential. We're saying, I see you, I appreciate you, and I believe in you. And that belief that faith in them can be a powerful catalyst for growth and transformation. So, if you want to create a space for the divine masculine to fall in love, start with respect. Show them that they matter. Show them that they're valued. Show them that they're seen and appreciated for who they truly are. Respect is not just about admiration. It's about acknowledging the divine masculine's worth and value. Next on our list is trust, a crucial element in the journey of love. Trust, ladies and gentlemen, is not just an optional accessory in the wardrobe of love. It's the very fabric that constitutes its essence. Picture this. You're standing on the edge of a cliff. There's a chasm below and there's someone on the other side of the chasm. The only way to get to the other side is by walking across a rope bridge. Now, would you take that step if you didn't trust the strength of that bridge? Probably not. This is how trust functions in a relationship. It's the bridge that connects two hearts, and without it, the journey of love becomes impossible. Trust is a beautiful thing. It's the silent promise that says, I'm here for you no matter what. It's the reassurance that no matter how stormy the seas get, you won't abandon ship. It's the conviction that even in the darkest of times, there's a hand you can reach out to, a heart that understands, and a soul that resonates with yours. For the divine masculine, trust is an absolute necessity. It's a form of respect, a testament to his character, and a reflection of his integrity. When a man feels trusted, it's like a nod of approval to his actions, his decisions, and his beliefs. It reinforces his self-esteem and boosts his confidence. It makes him feel valued and cherished. But trust isn't given. It's earned and it's maintained. It's a delicate balance that needs constant tending. It's like a plant that needs to be watered, nurtured, and cared for, or else it withers and dies. And once broken, it's not easily repaired. It leaves a scar that serves as a constant reminder of the pain it once inflicted. 
That's why it's paramount to build and maintain trust in a relationship. It's not just about saying, I trust you. It's about showing it through actions, through consistency, through honesty, and through respect. Trust is the bedrock that allows love to grow and flourish. It's the solid foundation upon which the edifice of love is built. Without trust, love is but a hollow shell devoid of depth and substance. The third feeling that a divine masculine needs to feel is admiration. Now let's delve into this. Admiration is a potent catalyst in relationships, especially for the divine masculine. It's more than just a compliment or a pat on the back. It's a profound appreciation that reaches into the core of who they are. Admiration in its essence is about recognizing the divine masculine's qualities and achievements and expressing a sincere appreciation for them. It's about seeing the unique strengths they bring to the table and acknowledging them. It's about showing them that you see their efforts, their struggles, their victories, and their growth. When the divine masculine feels admired, it's not just their ego that gets a boost. Their confidence grows, their self-esteem rises, and they feel valued. This can have a profound impact on how they perceive themselves and their relationship. It can make them feel seen, appreciated, and loved. It can inspire them to be the best version of themselves, not just for their own sake, but for the relationship as well. However, it's important to remember that admiration should be genuine. It's not about false flattery or empty compliments. It's about seeing the real, authentic person beneath the surface and appreciating them for who they are. It's about recognizing their strengths, their passions, their values, and their character. It's about acknowledging the effort they put into their personal growth, their work, their relationships, and their life. It's also vital to express this admiration. It's not enough to simply feel it. You need to communicate it. Let them know that you see them, that you appreciate them, that you admire them. This can be done through words, actions, gestures, or even just a look. The key is to make them feel seen, appreciated, and valued. Remember, admiration is not about putting someone on a pedestal or idolizing them. It's about recognizing and appreciating the divine masculine's qualities and achievements. It's about showing them that they are valued, respected, and loved. It's about making them feel seen, appreciated, and admired. Admiration is more than just flattery. It's about recognizing and appreciating the divine masculine's qualities and achievements. So let's continue our journey to understanding the divine masculine and the feelings that are key to their heart. Freedom, an often overlooked feeling, is the fourth on our list. The concept of freedom can be a bit tricky when it comes to relationships. It's not about the absence of responsibility or the license to do whatever one pleases. No, it's about the liberty to be authentic, to express oneself openly without fear of judgment or retribution. The divine masculine, in its true essence, thrives on freedom. This doesn't mean he desires to live a life devoid of commitments or attachments. Rather, it's about having the space and the liberty to express his thoughts, emotions, and desires. It's about being able to pursue his passions, his dreams, without feeling constrained or tied down. The Divine Masculine seeks a partner who understands and respects his need for freedom. Someone who doesn't attempt to control or change him, but rather encourages him to be his authentic self. A partner who provides a safe space for him to express his thoughts and feelings, to explore, to grow, and ultimately to love. Freedom in a relationship is akin to oxygen for the divine masculine. It's what fuels his spirit, his creativity, his passion. It's what allows him to connect deeply with his partner, to build a bond that's based on mutual respect, understanding, and love. It's what allows him to fall in love deeply and truly. But remember, freedom in a relationship is a two-way street. It's not just about the divine masculine's need for freedom, but also about the divine feminine's need for the same. It's about creating a relationship where both partners feel free to be themselves, to express their individuality, while also being deeply connected and committed to each other. Freedom, therefore, is not about lack of commitment. It's not about living a life unfettered by responsibilities or obligations. It's about the ability to be oneself in a relationship. It's about having the space to explore, to grow, to love, 
and ultimately, to be loved. Freedom is not about lack of commitment. It's about the ability to be oneself in a relationship. Next up is affection, a feeling that is fundamental to love. Affection, dear listeners, is the key that unlocks the door to the heart of the divine masculine. It's more than the simple act of holding hands or a tender kiss. Affection is the language of love, spoken in a thousand different dialects. It's the warmth in a smile, the comfort in a hug, the tenderness in a touch. It's the small everyday gestures that say, I see you, I appreciate you, I love you, without uttering a single word. You see, for the divine masculine, affection isn't just about physical touch. It's about feeling valued, cherished, and loved. It's about the emotional connection that binds two people together, the invisible thread of love that weaves its way through their hearts. It's the soft whisper of love that echoes in the silence, the gentle caress of understanding that soothes the soul. When the divine masculine feels affection, he feels seen, he feels acknowledged, he feels loved. And this feeling of love, of being loved, is what draws him in, what makes him fall in love. It's like a magnet, pulling him closer, drawing him deeper into the heart of the relationship. It's the spark that ignites the flame of love, the fuel that keeps it burning. But affection isn't just about what you give. It's also about what you receive. The divine masculine needs to feel that his affection is reciprocated, that his love is returned. He needs to know that his feelings are valued, that his love is cherished. He needs to feel that he is not alone in his love, that he is not the only one pouring his heart into the relationship. In essence, affection is the beating heart of a relationship. It's the lifeblood that sustains it, the oxygen that breathes life into it. Without affection, a relationship is like a body without a heart, a soul without a spirit, a song without a melody. It's a ship without a sail, drifting aimlessly in the sea of love. Affection is more than just physical touch. It's about expressing love and care in a relationship. So let's not underestimate the power of affection. It's the key to the heart of the divine masculine, the bridge that connects two souls, the thread that weaves a tapestry of love. The sixth feeling on our list is validation, a crucial aspect of emotional well-being. When we talk about validation, we're not just talking about a simple nod of agreement. Validation is a deep-reaching process, an understanding and an acknowledgement of someone's feelings and experiences. It's about showing the other person that their feelings matter, that they are seen and heard. In the context of the Divine Masculine, validation plays a pivotal role. Consider this, the Divine Masculine, like all of us, carries a multitude of feelings, thoughts, and experiences. These elements of their identity are not just passing ephemera. They are an integral part of their being. They shape their worldview, their self-perception, and their interactions with others. When these feelings and experiences are validated, the Divine Masculine feels acknowledged, understood, and valued. Imagine having a conversation where you share something close to your heart, something that deeply affects you. Now imagine the person you're sharing with not only listens, but truly understands and acknowledges your feelings. That's validation. It's a powerful bonding tool, creating a deep sense of connection and intimacy. Validation in a relationship, however, is not always about agreeing. It's entirely possible and quite common to validate someone's feelings or experiences without necessarily agreeing with them. It's about showing empathy, understanding and respect for the other person's perspective. So why is validation important for the divine masculine to fall in love? Well, Validation creates a safe space for the Divine Masculine to express himself openly and honestly. It allows him to feel seen, heard, and appreciated for who he is, not just for what he does. This sense of being valued and understood is a powerful catalyst for love. Just as a plant needs sunlight to grow, the Divine Masculine needs validation to flourish in love. It's about creating an environment where the Divine Masculine feels acknowledged and valued, where his experiences and feelings are seen and respected. Validation is not just about agreeing, it's about understanding and acknowledging the divine masculine's feelings and experiences. Last but not least, security. 
a feeling that provides a safe space for love to blossom. Now, when we talk about security, it's easy to think of it in terms of physical safety. But in a relationship, security encompasses so much more. It's a sense of emotional stability and belonging. It's about feeling secure in the knowledge that you are loved, respected, and cherished just as you are. The divine masculine, like anyone else, needs to feel secure to truly fall in love. They need to feel that they are in a safe space where they can express their emotions without fear of judgment or rejection. This is particularly important because societal norms often discourage men from openly expressing their feelings, leading to a sense of insecurity and vulnerability. But how does this security affect a man's feelings? Well, when a man feels secure in a relationship, it allows him to open up and share his innermost thoughts and feelings. It makes him feel valued and appreciated, which in turn deepens his love and affection. Security also means stability. The divine masculine desires a partner who is consistent and reliable. They need someone who will be there for them, in good times and bad. This consistency provides a sense of security that is crucial for the development of deep, lasting love. But remember, security is a two-way street. It's not just about making the divine masculine feel secure. It's also about you feeling secure in the relationship. It's about creating a mutual sense of safety and trust where both parties feel loved and valued. So how can you provide this sense of security? By being open, honest, and consistent. By showing respect and understanding. By creating an environment where both of you can express your feelings without fear by being there for each other through thick and thin. In conclusion, security is an essential ingredient for love to flourish. It's not just about physical safety, but also emotional stability and a sense of belonging. And the divine masculine, like anyone else, needs to feel secure to truly fall in love. Security is more than just physical safety. It's about emotional stability and a sense of belonging. So there you have it. The seven feelings a divine masculine needs to feel to fall in love. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane, shall we? Respect, the cornerstone of any relationship, followed by trust, the glue that holds it all together. Admiration, the feeling that makes them feel appreciated. Freedom, the breath of fresh air that allows them to be themselves. Affection, the gentle touch that reassures them of your love. Validation, the acknowledgement that makes them feel seen and heard. And finally, security, the safe haven that gives them the courage to be vulnerable. These are not just feelings. They are the building blocks of a profound connection. A relationship that resonates with the divine masculine will likely have these elements woven into its fabric. Remember, love is a journey, not a destination. And understanding these feelings can help you navigate the path to a divine masculine's heart.